Hello. So today I'm going to show you how I flesh a hide. This hide came straight off of a rabbit just now. I know we tend to salt first and then flesh. Uh, makes it a little easier, but I've actually enjoyed doing it this method. Um, I've tried salting the hide, but in our humid weather, it just I'm up in Massachusetts, USA, and it still it stays really wet, and sometimes I get some hair slippage and rot, and if I can get the flesh off first, it's just a lot easier as far as drying it goes. Um, this should work just fine if you salted first, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm draping the hide against my thigh, and I'm using a regular file. So the file is pretty fine, and the edges have a texture to it, so I can just scrape the flesh off, or pull the flesh off. Um, it's actually pretty good to think of it as pushing or pulling rather than scraping, because if you really scrape at it, you could still make a hole. Alright, so I've got my, my fresh hide straight off of a rabbit. I've got my file. And what I'm doing is placing, like I started up here, the very edge of the hide, and I'm pushing the flesh off. Just real simple. Um, wherever there's a nipple, I tend to get some some issues and I might have to pick the flesh off a little bit there. But this has just saved my hands a bit. I have some, uh, some joint issues and so sometimes picking the bits of flesh off is, is hard for me. I'm pushing pretty hard um, and if I don't like pushing I can reverse it and uh, pull. It doesn't really matter. But So far I've been able to get the flesh off in mostly one piece, and I sometimes use the tip of the file a little bit to help get it more stubborn areas, or even insert it kind of under the flesh and push. Um, this has so far made less holes than when I was doing it the other way, which was I pickled the hide in alum and salt, and then I tried to pull the skin off, or the flesh off, and I just had a hard time. <laughs> I just made a lot of issues. Um, but I also see how the, the file gets some gunk on it. Just clean that off, and keep on going. I like using my thigh, because my thigh gives a little bit, so I can push pretty hard and get that flesh off of there, but it doesn't have like a rigid thing to push against, so it's hard to push too hard. Um, I don't have a flushing beam, so I haven't compared that exactly. Uh, I think a flushing beam would be pretty nice, and maybe a, a flushing knife would be better, but I have what I have, and figured this would be a good option for people who either tried a flushing knife, or just don't have one, and maybe have an old file kicking around. Um, this file has texture on both sides, so I can flip it around when it gets goopy. Just as another side note, uh, when I was doing this before, I tried to use a hard surface instead of my thigh. Um, even just picking at it or scraping at it with a like a butter knife or my file, um, I did rip the hide doing that. Um, it's again why I like using my thigh, because it, it, as you push down, the thigh gives, so you're not pushing the thin rabbit skin into a piece of wood or something uh, that doesn't give any flexibility. As a note, a uh, little bucket of water might be a nice addition. Something I haven't figured out just yet is a, uh, why does it up near the neck, right here, sorry, right here, um, when I tan the skin, I have a hard time with that area, like it just stays kind of rough, or just doesn't, maybe I don't flush it correctly, um, but last time I tried to break a hide, I just couldn't get it soft right there. Um, up here in this area, I'm not sure if I want to use the file or if I want to use my hands. Somebody else was asking, how do you tell if you went too deep? And something you can do, if you push really hard and really mess up, um, you can almost see here, see if 
and get it to focus a bit. Um, if you push so hard that you start to see the texture of the uh, hair through the skin, that's that's too much. Because you just want, like this area, you just have that flesh is gone, you have the nice skin underneath, there's the flesh bit. But if you go so hard that it goes beyond this nice leather and goes to like, like, like the, the root of the hairs is really what's happening, is you, you scrape through the skin itself and get, are getting to the hair follicles on the other side. Um, again, I do pick at it some, but I just, it's hard for me to grab the, the flesh. Um, I did also try out washing the hide um, partway through, just rent, even just putting it under water, just rinsing it, and that helps make it less slippery. Just right now, it's a pretty slippery thing. So if I try to grab it with my hand and pull, it kind of just slips and breaks and does dumb, dumb stuff. Yeah, I bet I didn't flesh it right up here before. It's kind of hard to get that. So maybe I'll do that part with my hands. Um, you know, I saw somebody else putting their fur on a tack board and then salting it and egging it, and I was surprised that the skin didn't shrink up on them. Um, I just lay mine out on a piece of wood or a like, rubber lid or something. Because if it shrinks and it's tacked down, I imagine the holes would rip. Hope it's informative. Hope you all have a great day. Talk to you later.